Down at the high school level, seven high school boys basketball teams are still alive in the playoffs. Allen Academy and Alpha Omega will do battle in the TAPS 2A state semifinals on Thursday. UIL programs took the court, though, this evening in the regional quarterfinals. We're going to start up in Class 5A, number 18, College Station, taking on Pflugerville Connolly. We don't show the tip off very often, but here it is. Chu gets it, and then who's taking off with it? It's Steven De La Rosa to the rack and scores. Cougs obviously on the board first, but wing three, Kylan Robinson, and the other Cougars answer right away. Threes were flying left and right. Cade Corton, drive dish from the corner pocket. Well, we got Matt White, and if one three's good, how about another one? Corton to White, bang, bang, bang. The good Cougars looking good, but Connolly's really strong. Tyrone Perry Jr. lobs it up, and Robinson finishes the alley-oop. They took down Huntsville last week, and Connolly now takes down College Station. Get out of here. They're moving on 55 to 47. For a scoreboard now, Navasota takes down Fredericksburg 57 to 55. You want to know how, folks? On a buzzer beater. How about that? The Rattlers are moving on to the regional tournament. To Class 2A, no way we could have another buzzer beater, right? All Brazos Valley showdown between Snook and number 10, Hearn. We're going to start with the Eagles. Anquan Boxley can do it on the football field, and he can do it on the basketball court. Nice pass down low to Javarian Bailey off the glass. That's good. Hearn down, though, 7-5. to five. Snook would then go on a run. DeMonte Allen attacking the rim. Pump fake, whoop, up and under, off the glass. Then his brother, DeMont Allen, the running back, hits the floater. Off the rebound, the QB, K.J. Masick, showing off the arm. Jermaine Kearney catches it and scores. This is over. It should have been. Blue Jays up really big. But here come the Eagles. Boxley going to drive high floater off the glass, and it's up and good. Now, thank God for Twitter. Final seconds of the fourth quarter. Hearn down a couple moments winding down. It's Bailey from half court, and he drills it. Brian Viking Gymnasium going crazy. Two buzzer beaters in one night. Hearn gets the win. Dramatic. 70 to 69. Staying in class 2A, Normagy looking to pull the upset over number 11, Thorndale. They're trying to get to the regional semifinals. Third quarter here. Panthers miss it, but flying in, it's Luke Yellett putting it back up and in. Normagy hanging tough. Bulldogs bounce right back. Moves like Jagger from the baseline. Rubio gets it to go. What a name. Here come the Normagy Panthers down low, though. Ty Arari going to get it. And then we're going to dump it off down low. Yell it. Back again in traffic. So Normagy fighting here, but the Bulldogs top of the key three is reined home by Colby Newmeyer. They were up by 17, and they just keep going nuts from deep. The crowd loving it. Thorndale takes care of business. I'll show you why they're number 11 in the state. I score 62 to 38.